Hi everybody, it's Amy Citrine, and I can't believe I'm doing a vlog on a Monday, but I babysat yesterday. I went to a micro brewery beforehand, which was really fun. I was, it was super full on, on noon, like on Sunday. I mean, my town loves to drink, damn. And anyway, lately I've just been going to work, coming home. Uh, tonight I did a whole bunch of homework. Uh, life's kind of boring. Um, anyway, <laughs> like, I slept so much this weekend, I almost thought I became sick again. Uh, so I'm starting to tap more into my psychic abilities generally, and it's crazy. My dreams are intense, and I'm channeling a lot more. Uh, the way this one spirit got my attention, he basically let me hear him, and which I hardly ever receive messages that way. Uh, and then I saw a shadow next to me, kind of like right here, um, as I sat down. And when I can't understand spirit, sometimes I will talk to like a witch that I trust, kind of bounce thoughts from, and after a while, I always turn the spirit, you know, loud and clear. Um, what I noticed during the conversation, I picture like a mirror in my mind, and I see the spirit in the mirror, and then I can speak more freely. And I'm learning how to connect with spirits in my, you know, my tools as well. Uh, like the herbs and crystals and candles that I use. And so, um, I think my last spell really took off because I'm, I'm basically connecting with them better. And, um, and basically I figured out what better way than to leave an offering while I'm doing the spell. And so, um... My public wanted to help, so I think the offering, you know, helped in that area as well. Um, so, <sighs> let's see. I mean, with the, with the spirit that I'm speaking with right now, I think he's sticking around, you know, because I don't want him to do things for me all the time. We are developing that relationship. Uh, and the trust building as well, you know, like you would for another another friend and everything. I wouldn't ask him to do a favor until you both know each other, you know what I mean? Um, and I generally want to get to know, you know, this spirit. And so it's going to be, it's going to be really fun. Sorry, I, it's really late right now, so I'm drinking some mint tea. So good. <laughs> and so, um, let's see. Like, what else did I want to see? Come on. Anyway, um, one thing I wanted to say was, you know, don't wait for shit to hit the fan in order to practice. Um, Things, if you practice, things won't hit the fan, basically. Uh, develop your own kind of practice, you know, what works for you, um, but make it your own. And I've already spoken a bit about what I do. I go on daily and I perform spells when I want to get shit done. You know, basically, if I want an action done in the mundane life, I do a spell to go with it. And so, um, maybe I'll make a video, like, you know, another thing I do is invoke as well as evoke um, spirits and deities. Maybe I'll do a video on the differences between those and how to do it. Um, I, I cleanse myself, I cleanse my space, and I am a pagan, so I worship within my coven. Uh, you know, develop your psychic senses and your divination. <laughs> I still suck at divination, uh, but hopefully when my channeling improves, you know, that will improve too. And don't just do one thing and call yourself a witch, but also don't try to do everything like all at once. Uh, focus on that foundation and develop your practice. Um, then everything will kind of, you know, come together. And now I'm going to discuss what the demons wanted people to discuss in the video responses. Uh, first off, I double dare y'all to try a video response, and these are really fun. Uh, it's a good way to kind of 
to kind of organize, you know, their own thoughts about certain things, and, or even develop your own thoughts about certain things, because you might not realize you have it. Um, <laughs> it's more backing, but you know, I don't edit these, you know, my videos are not fancy by any means whatsoever. Uh, anyway, they wanted to see what people thought of the devil. Their video was, uh, traditional witchcraft versus watered down witchcraft. And they spoke a lot about the devil. And, um... You know, our feelings before the show and then after the show. <sighs> my opinion on the, the on my thoughts and feelings on the devil is really complicated. Um, you know, like I never really even think of the devil much. Um, as I was never a Christian, I never really just thought about it. And, you know, I only understood him from a Christian point of view, unfortunately. I now know that, I know, I know how the Puritans understood the devil and how Catholics, you know, see the devil or Satan. I never judged the devil. Um, I actually understood him on a level. Like, as a chaos mage, I would probably be working with the devil a lot more than I actually do. And I don't work with him, though. But honestly, like the Damien said in the video, Christians made his dark aspects evil when he's not. Very good point. Um, he's all about the self, taking care of yourself and loving yourself. You know, you love yourself by taking care of your needs, your sexual needs. Um, don't deny your own humanity is what the devil is trying to teach us. And I'm glad I never saw the devil as an evil being. Um, I knew I wasn't Christians, I never believed in sin, which is another reason why I think I loved Wicca, or the watered-down version of Wicca that I knew. Um, I knew it wasn't born into evil and sin, you know, especially as it's under women. Uh, Christian doesn't like women, so they wouldn't like the devil. And of course I know that he's associated with, with, with witchcraft, since um, the Christians blame the devil for everything. And they blame witches for everything. Ooh. Well, we and so they thought that witches made a pact with the devil for their power. What they didn't realize is that witches work with a lot more spirits than just the devil, or beings than just the devil. And I don't know if my perception of the devil has changed, but maybe my thoughts on how he is related to witchcraft has changed. And it would be interesting to work with him as a chaos magician. Um, it would be kind of cool to see what might happen. And I bet you would be really compatible. Um, actually, it might be marriage made in hell, since, you know, the devil has many dark, chaotic aspects to him, and it's all about the self. I smell a new research project coming on. Um, might actually have to go to the library for this one. And so... <sighs> This has been a long video. <laughs> and, you know, I thank everyone for watching. If you have any questions at all, please comment on the videos. And as always, subscribe to my channel and like this video. It would mean a lot. And making videos is a very, you know, rewarding experience. And I highly suggest that you guys start your own. And I'm kind of tired right now. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's very late at night, and so I had to do my homework first today, which is why my video is so late. Oh well, that's what I get for procrastinating. Alright, anyway, everybody have a really good night, as it is almost 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and so, um, then you probably won't be watching this until tomorrow. Anyway, I'm running right now because I'm tired, so that means I'll probably have to upload this video. Bye!